What's going on guys? It's Bob Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. And in this video, I'm going to be showing off the brand new V8. I'm no longer going to consider this a prototype. I'm going to consider this just regular V8. Um now uh keep in mind guys, I'm not finished cleaning it up. I've gotten the main scaffolding off of it, or like the uh, supports for like when it actually printed. Um, I've gotten the main stuff off with what I could just with like my finger now. I'm going to go in and really clean up and make it look good. Um, but I just want to say, wow, Quake and Bacon, thank you. The detail and work that you put into this. I am unworthy. But I'm becoming a little bit more worthy because I have finally started designing myself. Um, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna see how my prototype does. Um, and just a reminder, here is the original V8. This is prototype V8. This is the new V8. Bam! We got it in green! Now, I still have the shift frame. I'm going to reprint this in green, though, so it matches. There's a couple upgrades in this that will make it extremely hard to beat. You probably can't tell from this angle, but I'll get you know I'll get into that in a little bit. So a couple of the little redesigns. Uh, the V actually points down towards the, um, one of the points. Now it's flat. That's how I originally designed it. Um, I didn't really care. I was like, you know what? Who cares? I finally got my Beyblade. Um, I didn't care. It didn't bother me. Didn't care if it was ever that way. But I do like this a little bit more. I think it looks better. Um, now I know this is kind of ugly at the moment. I need to clean it up. Um, I will get to that. Quake, um, thank you for adding the extra little upgrade that you did. You guys will notice that, um, probably can't see it. Right here, there is a little triangle, which will make V8 harder to burst. And it was already hard. So now it has Octolock and a burst blocker, kind of. This thing's gonna be legit. Um, another upgrade that I see is here it is a little bit thinner this is a lot thicker um that will both help with support um durability and outer weight distribution so I want to say another thank you there uh here's where we get into the main difference this has a huge pit this does not this one was flush here's the original teeth by the way guys the teeth have stayed the same it's got attack style teeth if you can't tell v8 is thicker than a snicker this thing is huge v8 is absolutely massive i mean it's a big beyblade it always kind of has been here's here's a single layer evipero it i mean like evipero is my disc um here's garuda it is the same size as Garuda. Now, except for the fact that V8 is in a circle. Um, and this... Honestly, guys, the upgrades from this to this are very small and subtle, but they will increase V8's power tenfold. Now, here's why I say this. V8 was almost impossible to burst. I only ever saw it burst one time. Mine. The one that I physically own. I've only ever seen it burst one time. And it was a three... It took two modded Beyblades. It took a GT and a Chozetsu. Um, I no longer have those two Beyblades. They were fake. They contain lead. They're out. 
V8 was then un invincible. Nothing would be able to touch it on the channel. Absolutely nothing could stop it. Uppercut was the only thing that put up a real fight against V8 because Uppercut just had that advantage over it. Plus, it got in between the disc and the layer. The main reason V8 is the thickness that it is now is to prevent it from separating like it originally did. Plus, it increases my defense. V8 is a defense type. It is a rock-solid defense type. I haven't seen another defense type take the abuse that my V8 does. Jinx or Boros will take the hits that mine will, but I'm not going to count it because of all the metal that's on it. Now, people could say, yeah, you have a gimmick to prevent yours from bursting. The difference is, my Beyblade was designed that way. Ouroboros is just really heavy. I'm not... Now, I want to say this real quick, guys. I'm not trashing JoJo and Jinx Ouroboros. I'm not trashing anyone who has metal on their 3D printed Beyblade. I just don't support the idea. I will never say that they are in the wrong for doing that. I don't agree with it, but I can't do anything to change their mind. It's their Beyblade. They can do what they want with it. I say we should move towards less metal because then it becomes, then it goes down to a game of who can design the best, not who can make the heaviest. Now, I'm going to be ordering that set that comes with Okta from Takara Tomy. I am going to buy a Takara Tomy set. I am saving up for it as we speak. Um, it. I believe it does have, I believe Slash, or I believe the Valkyrie, I think it's like Slash Dragon or something like that. I believe that comes with double O. I'm not going to give it to it. I'm not going to make V8 any heavier other than adding Octa. I don't want it to be any heavier. I'm going to keep it at 8 dash because it keeps the outer weight distribution, which is V8's main gimmick. And, um... It matches. I originally intended V8 to be a perfect octagon. Its uh, frame was supposed to be an octagon as well. I was going to call it Vagabond. And Vagabond starts with V. And uh, it was... I originally designed V8 before 8 Dash came out. So it was supposed to be 8 Vagabond. V8. The parts were supposed to represent the layer itself. I have upgraded it. Well, we have upgraded it, me and Quake. Um, so here's the thing. V8 is a physically larger Beyblade than a lot of Beyblades. It is girthy. Its power comes from this. It is a defense type. At the end of the day, it is a defense type. But it's a defense type that contains all other attributes. It's a very well-rounded defense type, but it peaks at defense. V8, as you guys saw, the prototype had an insane amount of recoil. It's an octagon. It's always either going to be hitting a flat spot, which is the equivalent to a Beyblade hitting the wall, or it's going to be hitting a point, which is going to be like constantly fighting Excalibur. V8 is like Excalibur with eight swords. And V8 was designed after a V8 engine. I haven't seen anyone really take concepts like I have and turn them into it. Now, I'm not saying that people aren't creative. Believe me, I love watching people come up with their own designs. I just haven't seen anyone do it the way that I do. I've seen some very effective methods... Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but he created a Beyblade called Duminous. It's a demon dragon. It looks awesome. <clears throat> it looks awesome, and it looks like a demonic dragon. Uppercut. It didn't have a spirit. It was itself. It did what it was supposed to. Uh... Quake and Bacon's new Beyblade Hero Samurizer. Oh! 
Don't even get me started. I could talk about his Beyblade for a year. That thing is insane. Infernal Backlash. It, as far as I know, does not have a spirit. But it does what it's supposed to. I don't care about all these fancy gimmicks that you can give a Beyblade. It needs to represent something and stick to it. V8 represents the V8 engine, which is American ingenuity and power. V8 does that, and it does it effectively. Because not only does it hold up what it's designed after, it does a really good job in fight. It's my perfect Beyblade. Um, it's all, it, it could not have been designed by me better. Quake and Bacon did that. He took it where I wasn't, I never even thought about. V8 was supposed to be a defense type. I, my perfect Beyblade will be a defense type all the time, every time. It's going to be a defense type. When someone says, what's your favorite Beyblade? <laughs> defense type. Wow, that was loud. My ears are ringing. <laughs> I apologize. Defense. Defense, defense, defense. I like aggressive defense types though. I want a defense type that will get in your face and give you no room. V8 does that. I couldn't ask for anything else. V8 is gone so much farther than I originally intended. And I'm fine with how it is now. I don't want another upgrade. I love V8 the way it is. Would I like to upgrade it in the future? Yes. Do I care if I do? No, because it does what I want it to in the way I want it to do it. It's just my perfect Beyblade. Now, I have started designing Beyblades myself, as I have mentioned. I have designed an attack type. I like attack types. They definitely serve their purpose. I think attack types are cool. I love watching attack battles. I just prefer a defense type. Um, and I, I'm not going to release my Beyblade that I designed to people. However, I am working in Tinkercad. I am going to design Beyblades for people to print. Because at the end of the day, I want everyone to be able to, to have the same joy and happiness that I have. I'm a generally happy person. I enjoy my life. One of the things I love doing is Beyblading. I find it cool. I love 3D printing. I think it's the coolest thing ever. If someone wants to 3D print, then they should be able to 3D print. That's my goal. I'm trying to make it so anyone can have their Beyblade. Does everyone deserve them? No. Some people will take it in the complete wrong direction. But they still have the right to own one. And that's my goal. So guys, I hope that V8 has inspired you to create your own designs or has inspired you to start your own channel. It's doing what I want. I love V8. Nothing's ever going to change that. There will never be another Beyblade that I love more than V8. It was my first ever design. It was the first ever thing that I put down on paper. Guys, V8 is here to stay, believe me. And if I can no longer continue making RC videos and four-wheeler videos and everything on this channel due to the Copa laws. V8 will be the, become the face of this channel. I will start a second channel. This will be technically my second channel. I'll have it like maximum RPM reviews where I do like toy reviews and everything. Um, and V8 will be the logo to it. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to shut it down. I've probably been talking for over 12 minutes now. Um, sorry for taking up so much of your time, guys, but I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and start designing, guys. It is so much fun, and you can use this information that you learn for your entire life. So that is about it, guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos because I upload daily. And as always, I hope that this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome.